the gifts of the Holy Spirit. This summer, we are blessed to have a large group of youth receiving the Sacrament of Confirmation and affirmation of their gifts of the Holy Spirit. What are those gifts? Wisdom, understanding, counsel, fortitude, knowledge, piety, and awe of the Lord. Do we all receive the same secret sauce of these gifts? The simple answer is yes, but we may each have a unique recipe to us, a blend that allows us to express the love of God in ways shaped by our individuality. Woven through scripture are several references to these gifts and how they are used differently in all of us. Many of them are familiar, so we won't wholly repeat them. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 tells us each is given a manifestation of the Spirit for the common good, and though they are portioned out differently, whatever gift is our strength, they are all empowered by one and the same Spirit. 1 Peter and 1 Romans reinforce that we all have gifts tailored to our strengths, and it is our assignment to use them joyfully in service to all around us. However, one less familiar scripture really struck a chord with me as we also this summer have been witness to the struggles of dealing with the global pandemic and social issues that have boiled over as well. Sadly, all too often, not everyone is using their best gifts and the air has been clouded with discord, politics, and legal arguments. It actually is about fruits of the Holy Spirit, but I ask for a little leeway as the message is just too on point with this one. This particular passage could be a good guide for truly coming together to make meaningful progress. Galatians 5, 22-23 says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. We leave you with some questions to think about. What are your strongest of the gifts of the Holy Spirit? Where and how can you use those gifts to bear fruit in service to others? How can you best embrace the gifts and fruits of the Holy Spirit as a guide for navigating these difficult times?